are you serious? Hold on to your coffee. Whoa, because did CERN? Did CERN? What have we learned? Are you concerned about CERN? Yes, did CERN cause these two earthquakes that shook Italy? And according to BP Earthwatch and other reports we're getting, confirmed already by Anthony Patch, that it is possible that CERN cannot, can, can send energy through the ground to other receptacle locations. In other words, CERN could cause some tectonic plates to shake. And if they're already close to releasing, if they're, if they're, if they're dangerously uh, precarious, they could go. And it's a very strong possibility because you look at the depth of these earthquakes. And when you see a 10.0 kilometer, 10.0, it just doesn't feel right because a normal earthquakes might be, you know, 17.4 kilometers, uh, 36.8 kilometers, 6.4 kilometers, but 10.0 is just almost like it's a manufactured deal. Even whenever Kim Jong-un blows up a, a, a hydrogen uh, bomb, a, new, a, a thermonuclear explosion, let's say, the earthquakes might be 5.2. North Korea, depth, 10.0. So you start to get a feel for this, that is there something there? Now, BP Earthwatch has got a very compelling argument about this that he posted, and I'll put the link to his YouTube video below. And I, I really want you to look at this because, again, we talk of Tesla technology, we talk of CERN, we talk of, uh, you know, D-Wave computers and, and, and now the ability to start to break down the molecules and the different elements uh, of our planet. It's very interesting to see if mankind could set off earthquakes. We know we can, but I mean, a nuclear bomb, if, but, it, it, but could they strategically start setting them off in areas that could help in, let's say, warfare? All right, something to think about when you've got a super volcano up there in Yellowstone National Park, when you've got a New Madrid fault line down the heart of this country, when you have the Cascadia fault line up near Oregon, and when you've got San Andrea fault line that's now twice as long as we thought it was, running from San Francisco all the way to Los Angeles or further. I mean, we really do have to take a look at these things. It might be a part of the new uh, warfare using weather and quakes and storms. That's why the Bible says the Lord said he would have to shorten the days for the elect's sake, at least there be no flesh sake. We're going to talk about this today in our live broadcast. starts at 12 noon Eastern. You don't want to miss it at my website at www.publiclyprophecy. Are you serious? Are you serious? Do not miss today's live broadcast. starts at 12 noon Eastern at my website. Mike from around the world is going to join us. We have to talk about what's going on. Asteroids, meteorites space junk, what is falling from the heavens, or all of it. Now, we do have some report, Mike, and also Mike told us that, that um, look, when the, when the waves of energy, the five waves of energy, when that second wave gets closer, you're going to see spectacular auroras. Folks, I'm going to show you my next video. I'm going to show you a picture of, uh, that Jim Keen took out there in Australia. It's going to blow your mind. It's going to blow your mind on an aurora. But well, let me just say quickly, uh, weatherwatch.co.new Zealand. NZ received a media report from all over New Zealand and the entire globe. All right. If you've seen something in the sky, please post the comment below. Well, people did. They are seeing this asteroid, this meteor that come crashing in uh, the other night, actually, and uh, yesterday. As a matter of fact, uh, the International Business Times, the Queen Queensland meteor raises questions on near Earth asteroid monitoring. We're starting to ask the question because nobody. NASA, nobody told us about what was getting ready to hit yesterday. Nobody. Which shows you that never a straight answer. I mean, NASA is either A, can't catch them all, or is only telling us about the ones that are not dangerous and they're letting everything else fly. Or a little bit of both, okay? Mike from around the world, we've got to ask him. He said this was going to increase. He said it was going to get to where there's no longer a way to hide this thing. Now, Queensland residents reported hearing a loud bang seeing a flash in the sky, feeling the ground shake like an earthquake yesterday. And this has led residents to speculate there was a meteor strike in central Queensland. Now, the reports were coming from residents who live near Gladstone, which is about 400 kilometers north of Brisbane, Australia, according to police. And police say hundreds of calls came in. Owen Benedict, a private astronomer from Wappa Falls Observatory, 
also got reports from 100 kilometer radius. This thing was big. It lit up the sky. It was a fireball. It, it hit, when it hit the earth, it caused a tremor an earth almost it felt like an earthquake it wasn't one but it, it was registered in the Richter scale it but it definitely look not power we, people lost power um, uh, look Benedict points out that it's not enough of uh, being done to monitor the thousands of objects that orbit the earth uh, one uh, look one uh, kilometer or bigger in diameter he says besides the insufficient research being done on a global scale there are not enough or observing to do it. Not enough people watching. NASA doesn't have enough techni technology. Uh, he, he observes that when there is a big scare, such as when uh, a comet comes in or something, then everybody kind of gets excited about this. But the truth is, folks, we've got unbelievable amounts of asteroids and meteors that are, uh, we are, we can't dodge them all. We're in a galactical plane. Something's shaking the heavens. Jesus said that was going to happen, of course, in Luke 21. He said there, there will be signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars, and distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. Men's hearts fail them for fear, for looking after those things that are coming upon the earth. For the power of heaven, the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Then shall we see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, he said, look up, lift up your head, for your redemption draweth nigh. Well, the main, mainstream, mainstream media is ignoring this event. They're ignoring this event because they don't know what to say. And until the White House gives them the words to say, they can't speak because they don't know what to do. Because nowhere on NASA's chart was this, was, was this said it was going to happen. Just like nowhere on their charts did it tell us that the event in February of 2013 would happen. So we're going to ask Mike from around the world. He'll be our live guest at... 12 noon Eastern. Do not miss this program. Special Asteroid Report live. Are you serious? Are you serious? Folks, quickly now, I want to give you an update. Uh, BP Earthwatch will be my guest today live. BP Earthwatch will be my guest today live on our live broadcast on the coming apocalypse. Now, that program, of course, will start at 12 noon Eastern. It's a two-hour show. BP Earthwatch will be joining me during the show. It will be a powerful presentation. We've had Significant earthquakes yesterday, a 7.3 in the Philippines. We also had a 6.7 in the Solomon Islands. But there was two earthquakes, the one in the Philippines and another earthquake were extremely deep. Matter of fact, the one in the Philippines was the deepest earthquake ever recorded in history. It, not only was it a 7.3, but it was over 612 kilometers deep. Now, BP Earthwatch has done a great study on this and has been researching historically what does it mean when you start having deep earthquakes? What is the cause of an earthquake this deep? And, two, and the other one was uh, yesterday. There was another earthquake yesterday that was over 460 kilometers deep. Two major deep quakes. What does this all mean? He's going to break it down scientifically for us so we can understand it. And... Uh, and obviously, you're getting down to where the magma is when you get down to 612 kilometers into the Earth. You're getting down toward down there with the magma. This is not good. We need to find out, is the sun and all these solar flares, these uh, solar winds that have been at outrageous speeds, 650,000 kilometers per second, with this gaping hole in the sun allowing all of this pressure coming from the uh, solar winds, and of course the five waves of energy, wave number two that has already, we're in it right now. It hit us, we're in it. What is the ramifications of all of this? So we're going to try to get an understanding. Is this what's caused? Remember, if you remember, Mike from the world said that the waves of energy would start to activate the core of the earth and magma would start to move, creating more and more crustal displacement. So I want to know, is this deep, deep earthquake Yesterday, the deepest earthquake in the history of recorded man. Uh, what is the significance of this? And so we're going to try to find this out today. My guest, BP Earthwatch, will be my guest today live. You don't want to miss this broadcast. Tomorrow, my guest will be Josh Tolley, the radio personality. Josh Tolley. And we're going to be talking about the outgoing Obama administration and the incoming Trump administration 
And what does this, will it come? There's still a lot people are worried about between now and the 20th of January, plus a whole lot of other topics we'll get into with Josh Tolley. But today, BP Earthwatch, crustal displacement, the deepest earthquake in history, yesterday, 7.3. What does it all mean? I'll see you guys at 12 noon Eastern today on the coming apocalypse. Give your life to Jesus Christ because these are the prophetic signs that the Bible said would come. Earthquakes in divers places. Because did CERN? Did CERN? What have we learned? Are you concerned about CERN? Yes. Did CERN cause these two earthquakes that shook Italy? And according to BP Earthwatch and other reports we're getting, confirmed already by Anthony Patch, that it is possible that CERN cannot, can, can send energy through the ground to other receptacle locations. In other words, CERN could cause some tectonic plates to shake. And if they're already close to releasing, if they're, if they're, if they're dangerously uh, precarious, they could go. And it's a very strong possibility because you look at the depth of these earthquakes. And when you see a 10.0 kilometer, 10.0, it just doesn't feel right. Because a normal earthquakes might be, you know, 17.4 kilometers, uh, 36.8 kilometers. 6.4 kilometers, but 10.0 is just almost like it's a manufactured deal. Even whenever Kim Jong-un blows up a, a, a hydrogen uh, bomb, a, new, a, a thermonuclear explosion, let's say, the earthquake 